Now what we're gonna talk about is milliamp in out. This is a little bit different than the milliamp scale, whereas milliamp in and out is you are choosing what you're going to source out of it and you're just measuring with the clamp. Versus before, what you measured with the clamp, with milliamp scale, what you measure with the clamp goes out the output. You are now dictating what is going to be output and the clamp is just passively measuring. Now, when and why would you use this? Well, if you have a repeater or if you have um, a transmitter of some kind that has a milliamp signal that comes in and a milliamp signal that goes out and you wanna make sure that if you gave that transmitter or that repeater 12 milliamps in and you wanna make sure the 12 milliamps are coming out, you can do that all with a single meter with the 773. So let's get into it. Again, similar setup as before. We got a 789, 773, and a 771. Now, instead of, right now I'm in milliamp scale, if I don't wanna do milliamp scale, all I have to do is click this and milliamp in out. Now you can see I was doing, I was measuring 16 and this was doing 16. Now it's measuring zero because that's what I'm telling it. Now I can step this up, okay? And you can see the 771 changes, but the 773 clamp me measurement has not. Now if I change this, again, our measurement will change over here, but the output of the 773, this being read by the 771, does not change. So that's how you use milliamp in and out, and I hope this feature is beneficial.